Hello everybody, Typhlosion Corner here with another uh, card opening. I have a real special treat for you guys for today, something that I actually was surprised that uh, it came out for uh, GameStop uh, around this time, I'm not sure of either of this week or whatever, or at least of uh, either Thursday or Friday or whatever it was in this week, um, that finally debuted, even though this technically should have gotten to us like way, way sooner, because I think I remember something about one of the commercials around the time with the... The, the one thing for uh, Gigantamax uh, Meowth that uh, there was also supposed to be something else I think somewhere later on in the beginning of the year which should leave some hints of what I have here so to show you guys what I got for today and it's very special the Snorlax and Lapras VMAX uh, collection box where it's got uh, both uh, what it's got uh, both Lapras V and Snorlax V cards and uh, Full Art, uh, full art uh, Lapras and Snorlax V Max cards as well. Uh, on the back here it says, um, let's see, snoozing, cruising, and amusing Snorlax and Lapras bust out while Snorlax is snor uh, snoring on the beach and Lapras is steady on the waves. This should get the collection of Pokemon seems real ready to uh, celebrate along the shore or anywhere friendly Pokemon are found. Trainers know that these two large Pokemon are highly sought after and absolutely among the highlights of anyone's collection. This premium collection includes them both as pins and as V and Pokemon V Max power cards, together with a binder to keep them in and and a handful of Pokemon TCG booster packs. The Pokemon TCG Snorlax VMAX and Lapras VMAX collection includes four hollow promo cards, Snorlax VMAX, Snorlax V, Lapras VMAX, and Lapras V, two bright enamel pins featuring Snorlax and Lapras, one four-pocket binder to keep your cards in, which would be my very first, uh, at least for a big one, I've had like a couple of the, the small binders, if anything. Eight Pokemon TCG booster packs and a code card for the online thing. So that's all I have right here. I'm going to open this up really quick and then I'm going to start un uh, opening up the card pack. So see you in a bit. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So uh, first things first, here are the promo cards. Uh, the one for Snorlax V, Quell uh, yeah. Snorlax v promo card. Uh, we got Lapras V promo card, which is, I don't know if this is the alternate art or, or not, right here. Um, we got the Snorlax V card, the VMAX card right here. Really cool. I'll get it ready to attack and everything. Really cool. And the Vlapper's VMAX card as well. You know, or and uh, them both being the full art variations with the red lines and everything, the texturization on the cards as well. We got the two pins here, which this is, uh... This is the one for uh, Snorlax uh, VM, oh, well, Snorlax, uh, Gigantamax Snorlax uh, pin, or at least VMAX. And I think they kind of feel a little bit textured too. And there's the one for Lapras right there. With the, you know, the VMA uh, VMAX and or uh, Gigantamax uh, thing of them. Here's the, uh, the binder that you get with the set. Uh, it is four pockets, but apparently there's actually a couple pages, which is kind of cool, you know, kind of nice. Not too many uh, for, you know, I guess, like, to how many cards you're rolling to put in, but, which is actually somewhat good, because uh, so, uh, depending on how many I could fit in here to whatever I have so far of uh, my, uh, the cards that I've gotten as of late for all the times I did the, uh, you know, card openings and whatnot. And finally, uh, here's the code card for you guys. To start off with, for at least uh, the, the box itself, and I got eight card packs, in which I'm uh, order them from uh, X and Y to the most current for Sun and uh, it's, uh, Sword and Shield. And uh, first, starting off at first is a Steam Siege pack, which I know a lot of people don't really like this particular uh, card thing because you know not a lot of good cards in this. Which I mean, I do like the break cards because at least it's at least it's something to be you know getting out of this card pack, you know, I mean, considering, like, you know, like, certain other card packs, like, uh, like, uh, hopefully if I ever could get more of them, uh, Cosmic Collision with, uh, character cards and whatnot. Green card. 
Okay, that's the code. Okay, over there. One, two, three from the back. Let's see what we got. Okay, first is Clang. Tra a ninja trainer card. Oh, no, no, uh, no. Uh, sorry, uh, Clang. And then a uh, trainer ninja boy card. Monk uh, Monferno. Sneasel, looking all playful. Lit Leo, looking all adorable. Nose Pass. Chimchar, looking like it uh, took something from that one machine right there. Meowth. Okay. Monk Ferno, uh, over Mon Ferno, uh, reverse hollow with the really cool flame pattern right there, all nice and shiny as you can hopefully possibly see. Really cool. And uh, regular rare jump fluff, uh, regular rare jump fluff card right here. Which is also another one on, um, uh, I'm somewhat getting closer and closer to finally getting uh, in uh, Pokemon Go, which is, you know, somewhat cool, so. Uh, now we finally get into the good, somewhat, or at least like when it got a little bit better with uh, Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. And there's two other ones for the Sun and Moon here. I don't know, or I can't remember exactly what goes where, because I have, you know, I, I barely have much uh, experience with uh, the two. I mean, even though I did do an Elite Trainer Box for, I think, one or both. I can't really remember right now, but to the majority point that, um... I really don't know the order, so uh, once again, another green card right here. There's the code for you guys. Okay, one, two, three, four from the back. You got a uh, grass type energy card. Oh, grass type. Hmm. Grass. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm acting a little weird here. So, uh, anyway, uh, Grand Ball. Trainer Pokeball card. Dart Tricks. Psyduck. Looking at, at Confuse as usual. Spiro. Dratini. Cutie Fly, Chin Chow, Pre Marina, a uh, reverse holo card with a really cool uh, water type energy right there. Really nice and sparkling with the how uh, detailed it looks right there. That with the other one. And a uh, regular rare Incineroar card right there. Looking like he's about to attack somebody right there. Okay. So for the next one, it's another Sun and Moon, but this one is uh, Crimson Invasion uh, card pack. Like I said before, I don't know exactly what the two of these that I am going to be doing uh, or opening. I don't know what goes in what, uh, like if this goes first or if it goes uh, next or something like that. I don't know. So we got another uh, green, solid green card. Hopefully we get something of a uh, white and yellow, uh, white and yellow, white and green card soon. So there's a card, cool card for you guys. One, two, three, four. Dark energy, uh, yeah, dark energy card. Good. Uh, Lolan Graveler card. Larion. Gal, uh, Gladion, uh, trainer card. Mistrevious. Boink with some. Okay, never mind. Just jumping in the air. I don't know if I had some kind of weird aura around it or something like that. Hound Hour. Jigglypuff. Execute. 
Okay, reverse uh, hollow Gengar with the uh, psychic energy, I'm guessing. Psychic energy card right there, really nice with the purple and whatnot. Which, again, it's so weird because I don't think he is supposed to be psychic. Or if that's, I mean, because it, yeah, it's his weakness to dark, but you know that it would be uh, weak against uh, psychic as it, as it is, considering it's a ghost type Pokemon and whatnot. So that's for the reverse hollow, and then uh, we got uh, our, our regular rare is Gorgeist. So once again, that's another card pack down. So we got another, uh, what, another five more to go. So uh, now we get to the last part of the Sun and Moon, which is the uh, Burning Shadows one with, uh, uh, what's, uh, uh, ne Necrozma on the cover. Hopefully we get something really good in this one. Uh, no, we don't. Uh, another white, and, I mean, another uh, solid green. There's your code. Okay. One, two, three, four from the back. Another uh, dark energy type card. We got Po Town Trainer card. Porygon 2. Weakness Policy Trainer card. Yeah. And then going back to Por oh, Porygon 2. And the weakness, which is, it's, it's so weird how some of these ones that they've gotten now, because like even uh, in the Sword and Shield. They got some weird, uh, you got some weird, uh, weird, uh, item, car not item cards, but items that you can get in, uh, you know, for certain particular things and whatnot. Uh, Crab Brawler. We got Tynamo. Tangela, looking all, uh, look at all, it looks like hand painted or something like that. We got Ralts picking some flowers. We got Rye Horn. We got uh, Reverse uh, Reverse Hollow Sock with the Fighting Type Energy card uh, all nice and shiny right there. Once again, just the pattern of the shininess and the big uh, big imprint part of the card for you know Fighting Type Pokemon. And our regular rare is Alolan Radicate with the fat cheeks. Okay, uh, so once again, put that to the side, and hopefully with these last, I think, four card packs, yep, four card packs that we get something really good. I mean, at least to, some, to be getting something really good. Just hope that, you know, because I really don't want to end up just, you know, only having reverse hollows for this whole entire card pack, considering how much I spent on this. And another solid green. Okay, one, two, three, four, my back. Okay, you got a fighting type energy card. Got a Frothorn. Oh, no, type. Frothorn. Yeah. Okay, Raboot. Sorry, uh, and Raboot. Sorry. Raboot. <laughs> sorry, sorry, that's enough. Uh, uh, Lumberry Trainer card. Silicobra. Blitbug. Goldeen. Yampert. We got all happy and, and whatnot with his tongue. Scorpy. Munya with the yarn look, and it's also a reverse hollow card right here. Really cool with the psychic energy type uh, on the with the pennants this time compared to almost all the other card packs we've already opened so far. Put that over, and then we got a rever uh, regular rare Rillaboom card. Really cool. You know, for a lot of people who are of the Grookey gang and whatnot. Okay, and that was the only one for the base set. Uh, one for, uh, uh, for, uh, you know, for the Pokemon stuff. Let me just, uh, clean up here a little bit.
and hopefully get something really cool because you know I haven't really gotten much other than the reverse hollow cards here. So, oh, okay, so let, actually, no, we got last three. Uh, the first off is the one pack of Rebel Clash, and then we'll, uh, we'll uh, end on uh, Darkness of Blaze and hopefully get some really cool things for these last three card packs that haven't gotten anything good as of late. Okay, good. We got a white and green card, so hopefully we get something really good and hopefully it's something we haven't gotten as of late. Okay. Now off the side. One, two, three, four. From the back. Okay, we got a grass type energy card. We got Tranquil enjoying a nice uh, fly. Sorry, uh, Sonya, uh, trainer card. Pelipper, looks like you're enjoying the nice sea breeze right there. Milkree, I can just imagine what this is going to actually look like in the anime for uh, this particular Pokemon if they do show it. Grouthy. Imp and Imp, a little weird bugger. Bundlebee, Phantump, okay, and it looks like it's a V-card, so hopefully it's something good. Uh, reverse Hollow Load Tad for our reverse card with the grass type pennants, as you can see, all nice and shiny. And, oh yeah, definitely, I don't think I have this one, um... XQ uh, V card, which it also too I haven't even gotten this particular Pokemon. Once again, another one that eludes me because it, since this is a, a Shield exclusive Pokemon, that um, you know I haven't gotten this particular one or whatnot. And it's also so strange. It's another one that gets cursed with the uh, pink, you know the, the 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 pink coloration. I mean, it kind of makes sense for at least this one, but like there are some ones that I don't like, like uh, how. Uh, the shiny variation of, um, of, uh, Kyogre is one of them, uh, when an icy blue color makes sense for that, but uh, I'm really happy to finally get, you know, another one that, not, I don't think it really has eluded me, but at the very least, uh, you know, I've been at least trying to see about getting a lot of these particular cards and whatnot, so, uh, with that, that's, uh, for, uh, the only one for Rebel Clash, and now we got two packs of Darkness of Blaze to get through. So, uh, first is the VMX form of, uh, Grim Snarl. Once again, hopefully we get for these last two cards something good. At least, uh, have a nice, you know, end off with everything. Okay. Oh, okay, we got a solid green card. There's the code for you guys. Would be nice if there was like something like how uh, with uh, cause of collision. At least you can possibly get a character card out of the pack. Okay, dark type energy. Staravia. Right. Staravia. Okay. Zwellus. Pupitar. Hippopotus Centret La Vesta More lull enjoying the forest Or I mean depending on you can't really tell with this particular Pokemon Okay Toxel Reverse Hollow Star Raptor with the normal type energy card, really nice and shiny, as it usually is for normal type, uh, at least for the Hollow card too as well. Off with everybody else, and uh, regular rare, which is surprising. I don't think I, I haven't really seen a particular card like this. I mean, I've seen the card, but I'm, I'm saying uh, uh, just for at least being a regular rare, and if anything for uh, anything in Sword and Shield, which it kind of makes sense. Uh, the Mel Metal uh, card. Which uh, I've seen that they actually have so far made a video for uh, him and uh, for how you can get him for like with Pokemon Home, which I do have in Pokemon Home uh, that I can hopefully get him and whatnot. And, you know, considering he's got that weird Gigantamax form and whatnot, which you know is really cool and whatnot. So, 
So I haven't been able to get him, or at least to transfer him out of Pokemon Home, which I, I don't think you think I even have it uh, now, right now. So, uh, last but not least, uh, for our uh, Sinus Scorch for the mascot of uh, Darkness of Blaze, or at least one of them anyway. And well, it looks like uh, we're only going to get the one card because uh, another solid green. I'm so sorry for everything. There's a code card for you guys. One, two, three, four from the back. Okay, uh, electric type energy card. Okay, uh, relic hands. Yeah, hands. As well as again, look like it's arguing with each other like how it is in the Pokedex. Familiar Bell Trainer card. Oh. Familiar Bell Trainer card. Shelmet. Lavatar. Grimer, which is also another thing for a particular uh, a camera if it's something with uh, Victini or if it's something else I have to use uh, or I have to get a uh, Grimer, hopefully, because uh, I'm almost getting there to get a. Uh, which I already have evolved a muck. But uh, apparently, because of that thing, I, that's one of the things I have to do in the one particular special uh, assignment thing. So, just to tell you guys about this particular Pokemon I'm searching for Galarian Darumica. Which actually, this one makes sense for it still being Galarian at you and afterwards, considering it's still the same particular Pokemon, just still a different look. Centret, which I think I don't know if I just got earlier before, I don't know. For this is card pack anyway. Reverse Hollow uh, Teta Ursa once again being the normal type energy card, which I'm surprised. You think this would actually at least be uh, with the fire type? I think uh, Teddy Ursa is actually I think uh, normal type energy before it gets the fire type later on. And then our regular rare for our last card, last card is a uh, Swana. Really cool. Good little. I think it's a water lily in its mouth and whatnot. So other than that, I'm sorry for how it is. You know, a lot of times you don't really get so much luckiness uh, out of all the cards that you buy, considering how much this all cost me and whatnot. Not that I'm really blaming that either, because I mean, you know, especially considering you get a really cool binder, you know, out of the whole entire deal. It's just that anything, you know, you win some, you lose some, and at least we won one card out of the whole thing. I mean, it would have been nice to at least get me one break card like how I got last uh, time I uh, for for last week's uh, thing with the. Uh, cards so uh i'm just gonna do a somewhat of a small recap only with what i've so somewhat gotten and whatnot so uh like i said before with the promo cards where here's the vmax variation of uh snorlax uh promo uh full art card here's the one for uh lapras vmax uh full art card and then, uh, which I think I don't know if I have it, the Lapras one for the V card, but I know I definitely well I have one for um, the V card for a regular Snorlax for this one. So it's not really too much, you know, uh, you know, like, whatever. I mean, at least I actually got one that's a promo and one that's, you know, as I said before, for the, you know, for regular that I actually got. And I can't remember even where I even got it from anyway. Well, I mean, obviously, I think from uh, the base set. And then our only card for uh, what we picked, uh, got out of all the card packs, uh, XQV card. Which, as I said before, at least, even though I only got the one card, at least it's one that I haven't gotten yet. That would have been the total insult if actually was something else. So, uh, with that in mind, guys, thank you guys so for watching. I'm sorry for this being a long video, considering, you know, not much really happened. And hopefully to be doing this somewhat of every week, uh... Getting a, either a couple card packs to at the very least getting something special like what I got here. Um, I know Vivid Vultures did finally end up coming back. I'm uh, coming back, has arrived, and uh, as of late, they haven't had anything because they're already sold out by the time I got over there. So hopefully, if they to be restocking, or at the very least, if I have an opportunity to get uh, one of the card packs at a later date. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing something. I'm really hoping I can somewhat get a like me elite trainer box or something to do because I haven't done those in a hot minute. 
But for the most important part, uh, I appreciate all the guy, all of you guys uh, watching my videos, and uh, thank you for the bottom of my heart for sticking me with so long, especially what's been going on and everything, and all the turmoil and whatnot. And I appreciate all the comments to whatever I do get, and all the views that I've gotten, knowing that you appreciate what I do here. So uh, with that in mind, guys, uh, I'd like to say thank you guys all for watching our video. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit that bell notification so you get any notifications of present and future videos. If you like this video, give it a like. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see for my next video, anything you want to see in my YouTube channel or anything at all, make sure I down in the comment section below. Uh, and also, to hopefully to be showing you guys more videos, uh, what I've been trying to see about doing uh, that I've been thinking over the past couple of weeks, and hopefully I can somewhat do something, I mean, depending on everything. But with that in mind, again, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.